Thank you, Jim. Meanwhile, Roanoke County Police investigating a possible hate crime this after someone painted a swastika on a popular landmark at Holland's University. And it was discovered early on Sunday morning. Tonight, students and faculty are sending a powerful message to whomever is responsible. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson is live on campus tonight. So, Bree, where does the investigation stand? What happened? Well, John, authorities are taking this very seriously. I'm told that the case now lies in the hands of the Roanoke County Police Department, who's working with the Commonwealth Attorney's Office to determine possible charges in this case. Meanwhile, students I spoke with say they won't let the incident that happened here define them. We stand together as a community to choose love, not hate. Holland University wants those words heard loud and clear. This love, not hate event is in response to this. On Easter Sunday, students found a swastika painted near the entrance of campus. Kind of disgusted because, like, who would do something like that? That's not representative of us, and I hope that the community knows that. University security says shortly after the beloved landmark was found defaced, students took matters into their own hands by painting over this symbol of hate and writing, Take Back the Rock. I don't know. And to further show the strength and togetherness of this Holland's community. We love you, Holland. Oh, yes, we do. With sidewalk talk, they spread a powerful message. Words like peace, love, equality, things that will allow other people to, well, people on campus to understand that we are all one. It's good to constantly remind each other that we um, are a community, and even when it feels like people are trying to invade that sanctity and that beauty and that connection, we all stand behind each other. <laughs> Together, people here are promoting inclusivity and say the shameful act of others won't divide this campus. We want to show that the power of love is stronger than hate, and whatever individual created this heinous crime, we want to know that that's not what will define us as a community. We are defined by our love and support for one another. Organizers hope these encouraging words and illustrations drawn throughout campus help all students see Holland as a welcoming place for everyone. And anyone with information about who painted that swastika on campus is asked to contact Roanoke County Police. In Roanoke, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.